What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, I'm finna say cash today. Games! Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on Instagram, Robert Fitness, and follow my band, Divided Mention on Spotify. All this should be in the description box below if you guys want to see the channel grow. Give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and it doesn't cost you guys a fucking penny. If you guys want to donate to the channel or buy some Robert Fitness merch or some Divided Mention merch, that shit will also be in the description box below. I want to talk about the topic at hand today. Michael Hearn has addressed the steroid accusations. He's basically saying that because you're not working hard enough, you don't look like him. He's basically saying because you don't work like him, or work hard enough like him, you don't have the gains that he has. That's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard of. He's, he also talks about like recovery and carbs and shit and the power of carbs. and He says a lot of shit that's just like he dances around the fact that he's insanely strong, insanely big. And he says he like he was 200 something pounds by the age of like 16 or 17. Like, bro, bro, you don't get that big by not by not fucking injecting that anabolic chicken into your fucking bloodstream. You know what I'm saying? He's injecting that anabolic chicken into that bloodstream. He's like, yeah, he does that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't be past a, a genetic potential, a, a super physiological potential. And say that you're natural, man. It's just not going to happen. You, there's just no way that's going to happen. You, you, he's too big. He's too strong. It's absolutely insane. It's just... He doesn't want to admit it. So his, like... His, um... His way out of it is to basically say, You're not working hard enough. You're not working hard enough is why you're not getting as big as I am. You're not working hard enough. And that's why. And it's just fucking stupid. Um, at the end of the day... You, you can only get so big naturally, right? You can only get big so naturally. I consider myself a fairly big guy. I am six foot and I'm 200 pounds and I'm fucking lean, right? That's pretty fucking big. If you figure out my fat, my FFMI, I'm around like 23 to 24 FFMI. FF, yeah, FFMI. Now, I'm not saying that's the overall, you know, end-all, be-all to say that whether you're natural or not, but usually around the 25 range, being lean, like 10, sub 10% body fat, is usually a good indication, right? Just It's just a good rule of thumb. I'm around 30, 23 to 24 on my FFMI, sub 10% body fat. It's pretty fucking good. It's pretty fucking good. You know, it's not like I'm a genetic superior outlier or anything. It's pretty fucking good. I don't know what his FFMI, but he is insanely strong. He's fucking benching 405 pounds, reverse suicide grip for like six or seven reps. And then he does reverse suicide grip with like 455, I think it was on the bar. And he does reverse suicide grip bench press. He's squatting like fucking six or seven plates. Deadlift in six or seven plates. It's just stupid. And he's like, he's getting old. I don't know how old he is, but he's at the age where there's no fucking way that you're absolutely 100% natural. He just uses this stupid ass excuse to kind of dance around the fact that he's on gear. And it kind of pushes you to seem like you can get like him 
if all you do is work as hard as him. And it's basically selling you a fucking pipe dream. You're never going to get as big as him because you're not on gear. Like, it's just, it's basically like believing in Santa Claus. I hate to use that analogy, but that's what it is. It's like, you're going to believe in Santa Claus, and that's the only way you're going to be able to get there. If you believe in Santa Claus, you may or may not get as big as fucking Michael Hearn one day, all right? If you don't believe in Santa Claus, you will never get as big as him. That's pretty much what it is. You're selling a fucking pipe dream, and at this point, you might as well fucking believe in the Easter goddamn bunny. So other than that, that's pretty much my final thoughts on it. I just kind of wanted to voice my thoughts on him addressing the, the steroid accusations. And at the end of the day, he's never going to admit it because one, it would ruin his image. And for two, it would ruin his fucking businesses and shit. I'm pretty sure he's got a supplement line. I'm not even honestly sure. But anyway, no one's ever going to admit to something that would uh, financially um, cause... You know, you know what I'm saying? It's going to impact his finances. You know, he's going to he's gonna make less money if he ever admitted it. So that's why he's using you're not working hard enough as an excuse to get out of it. And that's pretty much what he does. So that's my final thoughts. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to my channel. I do current events sometimes. I do shit. I do uh, review stuff. I do vlog stuff. I do fitness stuff. I do workout stuff. I keep the shit 100 over here. I keep it real. And um, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to my channel. I would really appreciate the subscribe button. Other than that, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for the support as always. Let me know what you want to see next. If you like to fucking bad, subscribe, share, like, and comment below. Let's go don't troll animal hate because I'm fucking swole. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm Fitness, Facebook, I'm Fitness, Snapchat, I'm Fitness, Instagram, I'm Fitness. Don't forget to like my band page, Divide Dimension on Facebook. Follow my band, Divide Dimension on Spotify. Shop over your needs at tigerfitness.com. Using my affiliate link, which will be in the description box below. All that will be in the description box below. Give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Sub subscribe to the channel, like I said. And follow me on TikTok at Alperman Fitness. I do some funny shit on there, some silly shit on there. And I don't have a Twitter because I don't like Twitter. Fuck Twitter. And other than that, I'll check you guys later.